Calling yourself an alpha male in 2023 is like still wearing your hall monitor badge from elementary school. It's absolutely one of the most embarrassing things you could do as a fully grown human. And yet today, I'm talking about someone who not only calls himself an alpha, but the alpha king. Which is kind of redundant because alpha and king sort of mean the same thing. But anyways, just by glancing at his TikTok, you would think that this is Andrew Tate's alt account. But it's not. It's actually a different person. His name is Nima. And for the record, I just want to say that this could be purely satire, but at the same time, it could be completely serious. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? Because alpha males are very weird specimens. Tipping in America is crazy. I went to a Starbucks recently and I ordered a, a croissant. Mm -hmm. And then the barista spun the machine around. It said, do you want to tip? And then I asked her, I said, do people normally tip here? at Starbucks. And she said to me, yeah, people tip if they want to be nice. If they want to be nice. Sorry to pop up in the middle of the video here and jump scare you with my presence, but I just have to say, we need to get like some podcasting equipment reform or something. Just start running background checks on people who attempt to buy microphones and whatnot, because there is no way everyone should be able to start a podcast. It's ridiculous at this point. 99% of people on earth have attempted to start a podcast thinking they have some insight or some opinion that people are going to want to hear. But no, no one wants to hear it. <laughs> and then she said it with a voice where it was sort of an attitude. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, well, if I tip, do I get a blow? You said that? And for how long? Long story short, she actually called the cops. As they arrested me, they pushed me away. I remember thinking that I would have actually tipped her if she wasn't such a bitch. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what I like to call real talk. You think I'm over-exaggerating needing that podcasting equipment reform now? Because I think it looks even better now. I think we need to just restrict access to microphones in general. I'll give up mine if everyone else gives up theirs. And I would almost bet my left testicle that this story never actually happened. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm calling the Alpha King a liar. I don't think he has it in him to ask for a blowjob from the Starbucks barista after he tips him. I don't think he has, I don't think he has the balls for it. I think you gotta have some balls the size of Randy Marsh's when he's hopping around on him to do something like that. And Alpha King Nima just ain't, he ain't giving off that big ball energy. You know, and that's actually Alpha King rule number 14. You can attract way more bees with honey than a beehive. And that was the part of the video that absolutely cracked me up and made me giggle like an anime girl. Alpha King rule number 14. It's like the Alpha King commandments, what they all live by. <laughs> it's just so funny to envision that. He has wrote down like 30 or 40 of these little... Alpha King rules. <laughs> I need to see the papers these things were written on so we can hang them up in the Smithsonian because that is a national treasure. But also Alpha King rule number 14 does not relate to this video whatsoever. It's literal nonsense. You attract more bees with honey than you do with a beehive. How does that relate to you telling a Starbucks barista you want a blowjob if you tip them? Maybe I'm missing the connection. Maybe it's right in front of my face and I'm too dumb to see it, but... <laughs> Years ago, I went over to a friend's house for a small get-together. I took a couple girls with me. Well, it was obvious that one of the girls that was gorgeous, she had her eyes set on my friend, the host. I knew I didn't have a chance, so I had to get creative fast. I excused myself from the dinner party. I went to the bathroom, and I shit on the toilet seat. Are you following along, class? You in the back, are you paying attention? If you want to get a girl that has her eyes set on another guy, you gotta go shit on the toilet seat. That's Alpha King rule number two. Let's see what the rest of the video says. Then I rejoined everybody back at the dinner table and I asked my friend, hey, why do you have shit on your toilet seat? He tried to deny it, but none of us believed it. I ended up taking that girl home that night. Remember, Alpha King rule number 18, when you're losing, Creativity is your best friend. Out of any place in your house, though, isn't the toilet seat where you would expect shit to be? Like, wouldn't it have been better if you just went and, like, dropped a turd on his couch or something? And said, oh, dude, why is there poop on your couch? Like, the, you kind of, it's not that out of the blue to see poop on a toilet seat. Anyways, 
It worked. It got him the girl. This just sounds like one of those stories that your friends tell at the lunch table to try to sound cool, but you can obviously see right through it until they're full of crap themselves because it's just the most outlandish and goofy story ever. Like this, <laughs> once again, give me 500 on things that never happened. Can you be broke and be an alpha? I speak from personal experience. I have a great woman on my side, and I think it's important to have one to be successful in this age. For example, I knew when my wife and I, I knew the first moment that we knew we were gonna get married. It was the first night that we were going to actually make love. She told me she was a virgin. Okay, I think I, think I fell asleep in class because we just hopped, skipped, and jumped way past what the question asked was. He said, can you be broke and still be an alpha male? And now this dude's talking about the first time him and his wife had sex. Obviously, I missed something. I confided in her that I was also a virgin. And we decided that we were going to lose it together. That's why our bond is so strong. Wow, dude. In reality, she was like my 14th. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I thought you said no, that you had to look at But her thing. ass was so fat, I couldn't resist. <laughs> now that right there is a good alpha king rule. Lie to your partner and then let them figure out the truth by watching a shitty little TikTok podcast called Valuetainment. That's really, that's a really healthy relationship. That's actually, to Spoken be honest- like a true gentleman right there. <laughs> yeah, you that know. That ass is so fat, it made me a virgin. <laughs> well, yeah, well, that's Alpha King number nine. Do whatever it takes to win. Lance Armstrong really likes that Alpha King rule. He lives by Alpha King rule number nine. I once took home a beautiful woman from a nightclub. Mm -hmm. She was stunning. Mm -hmm. I could tell by the looks of her that she wasn't that smart. It was just obvious to me. Yeah. And then when we got home, she took off her pants and I realized she had a big There you go. At that point, I realized you can't judge someone just by their appearance. It's... Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. And the point of that video was... What exactly? I'm so curious. It baffles me. What does it take to get onto these silly little podcasts. Like, whose penis do I gotta suck to get onto the circuit of these terrible little TikTok podcasts? Because I wanna get on here and just spout a bunch, of, a bunch of nonsense, act like I'm making a good point, and then have the other people on the podcast agree with me and shake their heads like they're obedient little puppies. This video started as me just wanting to talk about this goofy goober knockoff dollar store version Andrew Tate, and just devolved into me getting upset and ranting about terrible TikTok podcasts. So I think this is a good place to call it quits before I just start screaming like a caveman and making weird grunting noises. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one.